Alex? What's going on? The 510s know about Connie and Ben. What? How? I, I don't know for sure, but we gotta get them out of town right away. 510s won't make this easy. We're gonna need something family fast. Four seats and the legs to outrun a street rocket. All right, I got an idea. I'm gonna wait along the commute run upstate, see if I can't sniff out a ride that has what we need. Yo, just so we're clear, winner gets to lose his ride. You got it. I hope you got some comfortable shoes, because you're going to be walking home. This ride's real fast on asphalt, but your car's built for dirt and jumps. You can use that. Give me a break. Best of three? No time, brother. See you around. Hey! I've been robbed! Hey! <laughs> Harry, I'm inbound with our new bus, but I gotta shake some heat first. We're all waiting for you. Lose the cops. Really? Is that the plan? Connie, right? And you must be Ben. How's it going, bud? Sorry, he's uh, shy with new people. <laughs> Me too. Now, ben, I need you and your mom to strap in tight, okay? We're going on a, on a really exciting drive. Stay with me, Alex. I've got Connie and Ben seats on a bus out of state. Why? I'll drive them. Anyone spots you, your cover's blown. Mm -hmm. This is safer.
How'd you and Dayton meet? You think this is a place? Sure, I bet Bev would like to hear. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, back in Michigan, my dad ran a garage just outside of Dearborn. Dayton come in every single week for parts or a tune-up. <laughs> I couldn't understand how one guy could be so OCD about his car. And one day, I asked him, and he confessed the truth. He wasn't coming in for his car. He was coming to see you? That was what he said anyway. You know how he was. Slick. Exactly. 